you ever wondered what we wear as priests when we're saying Mass? The clothes that we wear, which we call vestments, have a deeper symbolism and a richness and a historical value. In this video clip, um, I'm just going to cover some of the aspects of what I wear as a priest when I'm saying Mass. So the priest gets ready in a room like this, which is called a sacristy. As the priest gets ready to celebrate Mass, there are specific prayers that he would say, and there is a particular prayer for each part of the uh, vestments that he puts on. So as he goes through and gets ready to celebrate the Mass, he will say these particular prayers uh, as he puts each part on. Washing of hands. One of the first things that the priest does when he comes in to get ready for Mass is that he will wash his hands here in the sink. Now this has the practical aspect of having clean hands for saying Mass, for celebrating the liturgy, but also it has the spiritual element of uh, purity. Give virtue to my hands, O Lord, that being cleansed from all stain, I might serve you with purity of mind and body. Amis. So the first thing that I put on is this, which is called an amis. Now an amis is put on to cover the neck and the shoulders of the priest. And the first thing that I will do is to kiss the crucifix on the back. And then I will put it on. Whilst the priest is putting on the amice, there's a particular specific prayer that he says. Place upon me, O Lord, the helmet of salvation, that I may overcome the assaults of the devil. And it ties on around the front like this. So the symbolism of an amis is um, to protect us from sin um, because, as you heard in the prayer, uh, it represents a helmet of salvation because it used to be worn as a hood covering the head. And so it has that symbolic element of protecting us against sin. Ow. The next item uh, or vestment that I wear is called an owl. Uh, an owl has its meaning from the word white, uh, in, has the symbolism of purity. And the practical function of an owl is that as I put it on, it helps to cover uh, the clothes that I'm wearing underneath. Make me white, O Lord, and cleanse my heart, that being made white in the blood of the Lamb, I may deserve an eternal reward. So the symbolism of uh, the owl is that it reminds us of our baptismal garment, but also looking forward, um, it's actually quoted in Revelations uh, that we are washed in the blood of the Lamb. And so it has that aspect of reminding us of our future place in heaven with the Lord. Cincture. Next item that I would put on is this which is called a cincture. And the cincture comes from the word meaning belt. Gird me, O Lord, with the cincture of purity, and quench in my heart the fire of concupiscence, that the virtue of continence and chastity may abide in me. Now this cincture has the practical aspect of holding the alb together so it helps to 
keep the alb in place. Also, it has the importance of the, um, uh, the symbolism of the virtue of purity in, in regard to chastity. So whilst it holds uh, the alb in place and holds the clothing together, it holds us in integrity and it helps us with our virtue of purity. Stole. So the next item that a priest would put on is called a stole. Lord, restore the stole of immortality, which I lost through the collusion of our first parents, and, unworthy as I am to approach thy sacred mysteries, may I yet gain eternal joy. Now this originates from ancient Rome and it symbolizes, the sign and the symbol is that of authority, so it gives that aspect of authority uh, of the priest when he is ministering and of the deacon when he is ministering. His stole is slightly different. Chasuble. So the next uh, vestment that the priest would put on is called the chasuble. O Lord, who has said, My yoke is sweet and my burden light, grant that I may so carry it as to merit thy grace. Now, in ancient Rome, they would wear a similar piece of material that was a large piece of cloth with a hole in it, and that would cover all of the person. So the, uh, the name chasuble obviously comes from the word meaning house, because in the same way it covers the person. In the prayer we hear about the yoke of Christ. So uh, the priest puts on the chasuble and that reminds us that we are putting on Christ. We are completely covered by Christ. We are immersed in Christ as we wear our chasuble. So as you can see, I'm wearing a white chasuble here and you can see that obviously behind me we have all these different colours and this is important because obviously we use our senses to see and appreciate differences in this world and with our eyes we can see the different colours and so the various different colours of chasuble that I wear would represent they have a different symbolism so they have a different sign and a different symbolism all these various colours. I'm wearing white at the moment and white is um, supposed to be the colour of heaven and the colour of purity and also the colour of celebration in terms of the bigger feasts that we have so I would wear white for example during Christmas or during Easter or during some of the various feasts of the church that we celebrate. See, I'm now wearing violet, and violet is more of a sombre colour, slightly darker colour, and I would wear this colour perhaps more um, during seasons like Advent uh, and Lent. You might not think of Advent as being a particularly sad time because we're looking forward to the coming of Christ but Christ is not here yet so we're still in that time of darkness before the light is there so Advent and Lent obviously and also I would wear uh, violet perhaps during a funeral to denote the uh, somber perhaps more somber nature of the liturgy So red is the colour of blood and of fire. So I would wear red, for example, um, on feast days uh, where we celebrate some of the saints who are martyred um, and also perhaps Good, Good Friday and, and Palm Sunday. Also red represents the Holy Spirit, so I might wear red on Pentecost Sunday. And also confirmation, where the Holy Spirit comes down upon those uh, to be confirmed.
So this is the colour that you would normally see me wearing and uh, priests will wear black most of the time. And the reason why we will wear black is that in a way black is a, a sign of self-denial and there's a, an aspect of self-denial about the life of a priest. The other obvious thing that you see is this white, some people call it dog's collar or clerical collar. Now this collar um, being white is quite a contrast to the black and in a way that sends out a good message, it's a witness of our faith. So it's very obvious um, who I am and what I do when you see uh, the black, the white collar against the black. And really it's a kind of counter-cultural sign as well because of the contrast between the two. So I hope you enjoyed this video explaining something more about the various vestments uh, that I wear and uh, also the signs and the symbols and something more about the colours and the reasons why I wear those colours and do look out for them uh, when you're next coming to Mass and uh, you'll hopefully understand a little bit more about them. Mm -hmm.